I am due in less than two months, quite a bit less than two months actually, and yes, I am very excited. I'm obviously nervous, but um, I feel like it's going thick and fast now. The weeks are really going by, so um, yeah, it feels like it's uh, it's getting a lot more real. Ryan is um, Ryan's just really looking forward to it. I think he just wants to meet the baby now. So I am actually not that scared for the birth. I feel like, I don't know whether that's actually a bit stupid of me, but I think because that's the final thing and you know that you're gonna meet your baby, I don't feel that scared about it. Um, I've been trying to do hypnobirthing and things to try and like prepare me for labor and birth. But I'm actually quite excited because I think it's something that like everybody, like women talk about and I, I'm quite excited to experience it and I know that I'm gonna meet my baby after, so I'm excited. I am still worrying throughout the whole pregnancy. I feel like that doesn't go away. At every scan, I get worried that something's gonna be wrong, but I feel like that's kind of the same with everybody. But um, I think I've not got too long left now, so the worrying will hopefully just die out a little bit. Um, I'm not actually craving vinegar as much now. I've kind of moved on to dry shreddies from the box. That's my thing at the moment. I feel like every time I put my hand in the box and eat the shreddies, it feels like the best thing I have ever consumed in my entire life. It's really lovely to see some of my Corrie crew here. Um, <clears throat> they're they're so supportive of me and I'm still like really close to a lot of them and yeah it's really lovely that they have come here today. I have had lots of advice from quite a few of the different um, cast members. I would say that the person that I have got advice from the most is actually Helen Flanagan <laughs> um, because we recently met up and um, but it kind of just letting me like know about all the amazing things that I have to look forward to rather than the scary things like no sleep and all that. I am having a boy um, and we found out when I was 16 weeks and um, so we did like a little small gender reveal kind of thing just with like our family um, and yeah it was really nice and we're super excited. Ryan is hoping that he's going to be a footballer. I feel like at literally about three months old he's going to have him out in the garden like with cones and everything like training him up. Yeah. Neither of us were actually bothered about whether it was a boy or a girl. Obviously, this is our first baby, so we were just excited either way. But I reckon Ryan was secretly hoping for a boy. We have got the nursery done. The nursery is complete, although I would go for sort of like a gender neutral kind of theme anyway. So I've not gone blue because we're having a boy. We have already chosen our name. Um, I think, I don't think we're going to find a name that we like more, so I think the name is pretty much set in stone. We've already been calling it him, so it feel, would feel weird now to change the name. I can hum the name, it's, mm hmm Christmas to me looks like just spending time with family and usually getting really drunk, but this year it will be just sitting on the sofa and making everyone else do stuff for me. This year for Christmas we're going to be at our house and my mum and dad are coming and Ryan's mum and dad and sister are coming and it's just going to be a really chilled one. I don't have anything on my Christmas list actually this year. Um, I'm just hoping that people are just going to let me chill and not actually do anything. My favourite ever Christmas gift that I've received was a Ready Steady cook oven when I was about nine years old and to this day that's the best Christmas present I've ever received. Thank you.